Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this beautiful Friday on the 12th of April. Good to see you. Good morning to you too, Mark, Grant, Michael, everybody. John, Casey. All right, John, Lawrence, everybody. All right, good. So uh, what we got going on today, it is Friday. And what do we know about Fridays? Fridays are always nice and slow. Uh, sometimes Friday afternoons are probably not as bad. But I can tell you this, we're going into, I mean, you heard there's a lot of good news going on. You can see the market's up today. Disney's doing pretty well. You see Citibank is go doing well. This, there's a couple things that are doing well in the market. Overall, though, you know, we didn't have what we had yesterday. Uh, listen, Monday is tax day. So, listen, the last, uh, last thing on people's minds is tax day. You got Palm Sunday on Monday. You got Easter coming up uh, the week after. Kids are off from school. So, it's going to be a little, a little hectic. Um, the only thing that's going to help out next week is regarding earnings. But, Today, obviously, I think a lot of people are kind of like sitting on the sidelines a little bit other than some of the announcements that did come out. So you got a couple of brand name stocks that are moving, not not uh, not, not uh, crazy on some of the stocks that we're looking at as in the most active. But before we do that and check it out, let's go talk about what we did on yesterday. So let me just go out there and share my screen right there so you guys can see what's going on. All right. So let's talk about the FTFT. That one was a really, really huge winner yesterday i mean it was like literally it was like taking candy from a little kid here's a stock that you could see right here yesterday just literally went from a dollar all the way to, to three dollars and you know and look it wasn't even 10 o'clock i mean this thing did it all at like roughly around 9 30 so it was a great great winner it was a really easy winner it was almost scary how easy that was and you didn't need a lot of money to do that so that was one of our big big winners there were a couple other ones that showed up uh late and then all of a sudden they pop, but this is why you can't go broke taking a profit. Uh, GLGL, unbelievable. You can see a stock had great pre-market trading. Thing ran from 240 all the way to about three, all the way to about four. You're done at 11 o'clock. You know, if you some of these people want to trade all day, guess what? You got crushed. You know, but anyway, listen, we're not about hitting the home runs. It's about making, you know, making a day's pay. So that one did really well. A blast from the past, Weight Watchers. I don't know what this thing has just got. Is getting hammered. What a great short that was. I didn't see that one coming um, in the pre-market, but sure enough, you could see it. I mean, this thing is, I mean, Oprah, I don't know if she still owns it. I mean, but I'm just curious. She was the one that made it rally a long time ago. This thing ran from 18 all the way to 100, all the way back down to 18. That, you listen, you want to play with the big boys, you know, you better uh, have very deep pockets. PHUN, another one that was a great mover yesterday. That one just went from six to about 10. Another huge winner. She looks pretty good too this morning. I'll put her on the watch list because she's pretty strong. Uh, the PHUN, the stock had a couple of reverse stock splits here, but looks like it's starting to make a little bit of a comeback. So I'll keep that on the watch list. Uh, Neil says, I missed the FTFT yesterday. Unfortunately, upgraded my computer and couldn't trade. Yo, Neil, listen, uh, honestly, you know this. We we do this every day. You know, to get that one, I mean, unfortunately, we really didn't have that many of those big movers in pre-market, you know. But listen, you know they're there every day. Every day is a new adventure, okay? So listen, this is not Vegas where you go into the weekend and you prepare for six months to go there and you think you're going to hit it. This is your job, okay? And every day is a new adventure. You can't always look at it, you know, that this is a, a quick fix and whatever. We, we get them all the time. Hey, listen, you, you want to compare it to something? Listen, rem remember this stock right here, the BPTH? It went from $2 to $70. I mean, now that was, you know, our biggest winner of 2018, so 19 so far. So, listen, you know they're there. I mean, I, I, do I have to go through it? Listen, IGC, remember that one? It ran from a dollar to 14. I'm just remembering some of the stocks off the top of my head. GEVO, geez, that one too. Remember that one? Five to about 20 in one day. So don't worry about. It. They're there. All, they're there. We're, we're going to get another one. They're there all the time. Great short. Remember in, the, in this one, the R, RBZ went from 80 all the way down to eight bucks. So don't don't worry about it. All right. So let's talk about what's going on this morning. Now, guys, remember, it is uh, it is Friday. Friday's always mornings. You know, every week, every day is a different type of trading in a way. Mondays and Fridays is not always the most active because people come back from the weekends. 
we're going into a weekend. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are hump days, but sometimes, you know, uh, we've been having some good Fridays. Specifically, the market opens up. There are a couple of stocks that are moving. We'll put on the watch list. This one actually did move pretty nicely. I don't know what happened. She kind of died out. But this uh, I ITL, this one had a nice little move gapped up pretty nicely and it's just kind of holding here listen she's got a little gap fill right here i would definitely keep a close eye on this one just don't like that she backed off tov but you know what that's the same thing that happened with glg yesterday did the same thing here's another one that's up about 28 percent 1.2 million shares traded getting some nice a lot of orders out here on the on the uh, on the matrix so that one looks pretty interesting that one could be good going into the open RBZ is another one I found getting destroyed, uh, down 53%. Uh, I don't know if this doesn't look like a pharmaceutical stock, but it's not doing too well. The only thing that's kind of weird about it, it's down so much. I, I mean, I almost feel like this is a reverse stock split. You know, did have a split yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, 160,000 shares, so stock down, down 50%. That sounds kind of low on volume, which is kind of weird. Disney. Now, Disney, listen, the only thing that excites me about Disney is that, you know, I mean, we all know the new movie Avengers is coming out. Uh, they said they broke records, this and that. Disney's really starting to step it up. Disney was one of those stocks. I remember this stock for about 20 years now. It was one of the stocks that always been between 90, 80 to 100, never went anywhere. It finally broke out of its shell. Now, I mean, you know, we're not a fan of trading $125 stocks, but I don't know. Maybe this could start being a an option play. You know, maybe it could be a long-term swing trade. Uh, but you know, Disney obviously they had their they had their conference call yesterday, and they're actually stepping up, doing pretty well. Obviously, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Orlando. They're starting to do some updates. Finally, you know, in Disney World, trying to compete against, you know, uh, I guess uh, uh, what you would call uh, Universal. But uh, but they got you know, listen they they're really they're really doing a good job on their on their their movies and stuff. P H U N, one last one right here. Now, like I said, this is the one that we had from yesterday. I'm putting it back on the watch list. So we got about five. All right, anything I'm missing that I did not call out? Any anything else, guys? Anything else out there? Not a big list. It's it's Friday, you know, and and it's the biggest day of the year on Monday, tax season. Last things on people's minds is worrying about uh, trading. All right. Mary Beth says, "What about the KTOV?" It's got a nice little push. She's starting to move a little nicely right now. She's up 34%. I, I, I had that on my list. I already put it on there. I mean, she's, if she breaks this high right here, it could be, it, it could get a nice push. But uh, look over here. The only thing I'm not too concerned about, you got to be careful. There's a, a 4,700 share seller out here at a buck 60. You know, that could be, you got an 8,000 share seller right here. Let's see if the time and sales guys getting executed. You can see those orders right now getting executed. looks pretty strong, you know. Kind of like it. Good iceberg orders, right, Deb? All right. Uh, Lead is saying, what about the OXY? Uh, expensive, it is, and it's a little bit all over the place. I mean, it just had that big drop right there, 69 to 66. The reason why, Lita, you know, one thing you probably noticed right away, the spread's huge. It's not no shocker there. It was a big spreads, has low volume on it. You want to stay away from it. All right, guys. So listen, good luck today. Happy trading. We'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. I know we have a lot of new members uh, that are here. Just please keep in mind, this is a trading room, not a teaching room. And if you want to know more about our courses, our program, how it works, make sure you talk to your education advisor here at Cyber Trade University. And then we'll be going into silence. Uh, up until about 2.30, but just focus on the chat room, look at the traders, see how they work together, and like we always say, look, listen, and learn. Good luck, everybody, and if I don't see you this afternoon, enjoy your weekend, all right? See you back on Monday.